Hi guys! Welcome back to your favorite channel, Lola Kazan. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. Today in this video, I'm going to show you an easy home core workout that you don't need a gym membership for. Are you ready for this? Let's get going! First, we're going to start with all-time favorite planks. Make sure your elbows are placed directly below your shoulders, your spine is neutral, feet together, hands apart. You may keep your palms facing down or in a neutral position facing each other. Make sure you breathe in, but keep your tummy tight. You may superset plank with pike ups. I'm demonstrating a beginner's version pike up. Lift your hips up as high as you can in the mountain position and then drop them low, but do not touch the floor. Exhale on top, do not forget to breathe. Again, superset, 60 second plank. If you can't do 60 seconds, do a 30 second at start. Move up to 45 second and superset it with 20 reps of pike ups. Perform this for three sets total. This is our third superset of planking with pike ups from a different angle. Make sure you're holding your tummy tight, breathe, do not hold your breath, and then with every pike up, breathe out on the very top. All right, moving on to the second superset of exercises. First, we're gonna start with biking. This is again the beginner's version of a biking. Keep your legs straight on the floor and then alternate with the left elbow to the right knee or the right elbow to the left knee. Make sure your elbows are spread out and don't use your neck when you lift your body up. Make sure you're using your core when you lift your upper body. After performing 20 to 30 reps total, superset this with ankle touches. If your feet are closer to your glutes, it would be much easier to perform this for 30 reps total. Or if you want to challenge yourself, move your feet forward and try to reach for your ankles on each side. Use your obliques to reach for your ankles. We're going to do this one more time. Lie down on the floor flat, spread your elbows out, and then try to reach for your knee by lifting your upper body up using your core. Please do not use your neck, and with every rep, you want to squeeze your tummy and exhale. With ankle touches, you want to exhale on every touch. If you want to challenge yourself, move your feet further forward, and same here, with every touch you want to breathe out and use your core, not your neck, to lift your upper body up. Next superset is a little more challenging. You are in a plank position with your elbows directly underneath your shoulders and then you're trying to reach for your elbows with the same side knee but kind of moving slightly forward and a little to the side as you're trying to reach for your knee. Those are called Spider-Man. Now you're gonna get up in a push-up position and do the same thing, but this time the knee comes forward towards your chest and then right knee goes to the right elbow and left knee comes up to the left elbow. Perform these two exercises for three sets of 20 on each side. For the next superset, you're going to need a bench, a chair, something you can sit on, a foam roller, or something you can cross your legs over. It doesn't have to be a high foam roller, it could be a short one. Anything you can use that you can bring your legs over. Make sure the foam roller stands close to you. If it's too far, you can reach over it. If it's too close, it may be a little too challenging. After you're done measuring the proper distance, hold on to the bench tight from behind, lean back a little bit, lift both of your legs up at the same time and cross over the foam roller. Again, the higher the foam roller is, the more challenging it's going to be. You may start with a shorter one and increase your intensity as you get stronger. With every roll over, you want to breathe out on each side. Perform this for three sets of 20 on each side. Please hold on the bench from behind and hold it tight so don't let it go so you don't fall backwards. Super sad foam roller rollovers with bench tucks. You do want to hold on to the bench tight, sit on the edge of the bench, fold your body and unfold. When you unfold, you do want to breathe out. Watch it one more time. Bring your knees to the chest, chest to your knees, and then extend your body, legs straight. Exhale and lean back a little bit. Perform this for 30 reps. And the last exercise in today's workout will be elevated side planks. Again, if you want to challenge yourself, do them elevated. If you are not at that point yet, do them on the floor. 
Also, if you want to challenge yourself further, grab a dumbbell and hold it towards the ceiling. Make sure your hips are upward, arch your obliques as high as you can. Hold the side plank for at least 30 seconds. If it's too easy for you, move up to 45 seconds. If it's still easy for you, move up to 60 or 90 seconds per side. Perform this for three sets on each side and the workout is done. Congratulations! Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and let me know what other exercises you'd like to learn about or what other workouts you'd like me to provide for you. I'm all here to help you. Thank you guys. Have an amazing week ahead of you. Until the next time. Mwah.